All right, my friends. So 45 minutes together. Um, playlist is in the chat. I'm using tens and fives. I'm also going to grab a mini band. I, there's op opportunities to use it. But when we get in that finisher, it probably won't make much sense to like put on the band and then take the band off and then put on the band. Like, so in that finisher, you might just want to go with, with dumbbells. Um, all right. So let's back ourselves up. Claim some space in your space. Just spread your feet out, spread your hands out, spread your shoulders out, wiggle your hips around. Take a deep breath in, reach up. Exhale the elbows down. Let's do it one more time. And when you do that, think about the shoulders depressing too. Big inhale, exhale down. Any jumping that we've got going on, I will always modify just kind of telling you that now in case for some reason either one of you forgot. I always will do, um, do that. So let's hit play in four. Three, two, and one. Once you hit play, you're gonna walk your way back. Three and a half minute warm up will emulate some of the things we've got going on in the workout today. Wow, I feel like I'm just kind of out of it. Um, so, okay, I promise you, we're getting started, but for some reason, I changed the, I changed where I put my workout because I don't memorize anything, you guys. I don't memorize anything. I have the memory of a gnat. Okay, so that said, we're gonna start with our feet nice and wide apart. Start with a little Katy Perry, always good stuff. Take the inhale again, reach up. Exhale, squat down, bring a knee with you. Good, we'll do it again. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, squat down, bring the other knee with you. One more time, both sides. Oh, squat down, reach up. Exhale, pull, other side. Squat down, reach up. Exhale, pull. Good, step your feet together. We're gonna to go for a lateral lunge just on the right. We'll do two more, and then I want you to hold this lateral lunge down, give me a little tiny pulse. And if this feels good, turn your toe up and out, so we're really working that hamstring. Two and one. Step that foot back onto the mat, step yourself together, let's switch sides. If you are also in a small space like me, just move your foot. <laughs> one more time. Hold your lateral lunge, all 10 toes pointing forward for a hot second. Little pulse, if that feels good, turn the toes up. And say, for example, you're like, this side, not so great. Other side, great. Listen to yourself before you listen to the woman in the nude outfit. Come back to the center, let's do some jacks. Again, if you're not jumping, we're gonna just do little half jacks. Beautiful. We're halfway through the warm up. Abs in tight, start to tap into that diaphragmatic breath. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Two more. Last jab, beautiful. Step your feet together, tee your feet. So you're gonna find a nice little um, first position. Good, from here, reach up, bring the arms out wide. Bring your feet, or excuse me, your knees out wide, draw your elbows in. Good, squeeze and release. Two more. Last one, then find yourself on your mat in a half kneel position. I'm gonna show this to you from the side. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. And then from here, I'm gonna punch the ground with my left and reach up with my right, return through center. Punch and reach, return. Last one, punch and reach and return. Let's switch our sides. So just, I'm gonna show this to you head on. I think it'll be super helpful here. I'm punching down with the right, up with the left, Exhale back through center, squeeze the seat. Two more. And last one. Good, come back to half kneel position, come down to a full kneel. And then from here, drop into your hips and squeeze. Squeeze, draw those elbows back and squeeze. We only have about 25 more seconds on the warm. How did the three and a half minutes go by so quick? Exhale, push. Last one here, slide the legs forward. Now, I'm showing this to you from the side so you can see my back, my knees are soft. I can extend my legs, that's gonna make it harder. I can reach my arms up and that's gonna make it harder. Draw the navel in, three seconds, two seconds. Last second, draw those knees in. Okay, team, everything's 30 seconds, okay? We're gonna go through it three times. At the end of each round, you're gonna get a little break, but these move quick. So let's grab one single 10 pound dumbbell. Excuse me, I lied to you, this is body weight. So it's gonna be squat, right front kick. Here we go. Just one leg. Everything in this set, we'll see three times. 
So don't you fret if you're like, oh man, we started a little late. Are we gonna get through all of it? So big side squat, big front kick. Now, the good news is I'm making it fairly simple because we're gonna go on to the other side in three, two, and one. If you're like me, if you don't have a ton of room, move your leg. And as I come up, I'm keeping my posture tall. I'm not letting my back round here push through the heel of the foot. Nice. This is exercise number two. Now next up, we're gonna be on hands and feet. Downward facing dog in three, two, and one. Good, find your down dog. I'm gonna actually show this to you from the side. So even though my hands are off the mat, I can still find that stability. You're gonna do alternated kicks, and then you're gonna drive to beast position. So if being on your hands is not in the cards today, you could elevate this with the hands on say a bench or something sturdy. We don't wanna have our hands on like a roller chair or something like that. Ooh, and that is time. See, it goes by really quick, really quick. So we'll see that again. Now, if you wanted to advance this, you're gonna grab your mini band. Mini band goes along the thighs. They are not necessary. So if you're like, hang on, I don't have a mini band. That's okay. You do it body weight again. It's all gravy, baby. All right, second set. I start on my second side. Three, two, one. Side squat, front kick. And you'll notice with the band, I can't lift my knee as high. Oh, and if you've got one of the latex bands, it might be rolling up on you. And that's why I bought myself one of those cloth and on slips. You can get them anywhere at this point. I know a lot of trainers selling them. People are like, why aren't you selling them? Girl, I got enough on my plate. <laughs> okay, here we go. Switch your sides. Just give myself a little room. Side squat, front kick, side squat. I can already feel outer hip. You guys feeling it too? Woo! Yes. Now, careful you're not letting your upper body curl in. I want you to think about it. Broad chest cavity here. So if it helps, you can have your hands on your hips instead, out to the sides, supporting that low back. Totally your call. Okay, come on back down to your down dog. I'm gonna show this to you again from the side. I think it's helpful. So downward dog, back kick one, back kick two, hover the knees in beast. Come back up, back kick one. It's not about speed here. It's more about mobility core control, kick and switch, knees down. Now team, we only have a couple seconds. Finish your beast, set the knees down. Option, keep your band on for the third round. Now that said, in this round, we do not get a break right now. We move into that burner and we only see the burner once. So it's a 60 second burner I am going to try to keep my band on. Here's the burner for those of you that don't know. Well, no, nobody knows. It's step, step, hop. Step, step, hop. That's what it looks like. We'll go over it. I'll have a minute to work on it. Either side to kick first. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Drop it down. Kick. Step. Kick. Step wide. Now notice, look at this knee. This knee bends too. I'm not lunging. I'm sidestepping so that my hips can sink right between my heels, right between my heels. Kicking with that right leg for me, we switch our side. So I'm gonna step a little further out so that way I have room to move that left leg. Upper body nice and tall. Now, good news, after your minute long burner, which is that hesitation, hesitation hop switch, we're gonna get a minute to rest. So let's, really work, let's really ring this out. Let's do everything we can. Really don't leave anything on the table here. You'll get that recovery. Three, two, make your way to your mat. I'm gonna show this to your head on this time since we haven't seen this viewpoint. Kick it one, kick it two, hover the knees. Come back up, kick it one, kick it two, 
hover the knees. Now, Mandy, what if I need to land my knees? Is that okay? It sure is. So wherever you're at in your practice right now, if you're breathless, slow it down. We're not trying to crush you. We're trying to make it so you're working. This is three. This is two. Rise to stand. This is your burner. Right, left, hold. Left, right, hold. Mandy, I'm not jumping today. What else can I do? Then in that case, hamstring, hamstring, hold it. Hamstring, hamstring, hold it. So you're still finding the single leg balance and you can move quicker, right? So it's hop, hop, hold, hop, hop, hold. And all you would do is take that little jump portion out if you need to. Good. A lot of legs here in our first block. In our next block, we've got a ton of core and upper body. Woo! You will be taking that band off in nine seconds. Woo! As in me. <laughs> this is three, two, one. Okay, band comes off. You get a minute rest. So in your next set, you're going to need your tens or your heavier dumbbells if you've got them. Mat, and that's it. So I am going to move my mat so you can see me profile more. I think it'll be very helpful to have that. We are starting in a half kneel position and you will need your second 10, but you won't need it right away. So just have one nearby or one heavy weight nearby. My left foot will be forward and my right knee will be back. So the weight is going to go in the same hand as my thigh that's up. I'm gonna twist and reach for the floor as I punch to the ceiling and return. All one fell swoop, 30 seconds on the right, 30 seconds on the left. Those are your first two actions. And then we're gonna grab our second 10 or even our lighter dumbbells for our pullover and our fly. Are we ready? Say yes. Yes. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Reach and return. My back toes for me are curled. If I needed a little more padding underneath my knee, it could be a little hand towel, or I could fold my mat up in half. Sometimes I lose my balance. Push and return. Exhale, inhale. Good team. Let's switch the dumbbell and our knee. So right foot now on the floor, reach, and return, rack it, punch it, and squeeze your butt cheeks. Inhale, just so you can see myself from the side here. In, twist, return. Good, grab your second 10, or maybe you might wanna go with lighter dumbbells. This one's tough, that's why I'm saying that. I might, I might have to go with lighter dumbbells. So I'm on my back, my knees are bent to start. Head is lifted or the head could be down. I'm gonna do a fly, chest fly, right along the chest line, turn my palms and pull over my head, back through center, palms medial grip, open, close. Now if this feels good, extend the legs. Palms here, open and close. You've got three, two, one, and finished. So if you feel like your low back is leaving the floor, this is your break. I would do my knees bent because that's gonna be supportive on my low back. If I felt it in my neck, I'm gonna set my head down. And if I just felt like I didn't have really great control with my dumbbells, I grab my lighter set, my fives. And I'll demonstrate that for you in the second round because I think it'd be good to see it. Okay, right and right. So right knee forward, right hand has the dumbbell. Here we go. Twist and return. Twist and return. My hand comes to the floor. My hand comes back out to the side for counterbalance. Really emphasize that breath work, right? How you can use your abdominals here to support that work here. Push and return. Good, switch your sides, please. Switch it over to the other side. Good, here we go. Twist. Look at your dumbbell. As you come down to the floor, my arm is straight and strong. I'm not locking it. 
I'm less concerned with my speed. I'm most concerned with my postural alignment, my breath work, maybe even my range of motion here. It's a big twist. Super close here. This is three, two, and one. Come back down to your back, grab your second 10, or like I mentioned, I'm gonna show this with the fives, I think it'll be helpful. So option one, keep the knees bent. Option two, legs are straight. Squeeze the legs together, arms reach overhead for the pullover. Notice how much more control I have because my weights are literally half. I'm now pressing and pulling fives, total of 10, versus 20, right, 10, 10. Oh my gosh, how was I already in 30 seconds? Three, this is two, and that is your time. So we're gonna go through that again. Now remember, this is our third round. So in this third round, we have our burner. What's the burner? Great question. You'll need your two heavy dumbbells. I'll just show it to you now. My hips stay up, my dumbbells are at my hips, and I hold here. I'm gonna squeeze into my seat as much as I can, okay? That's it. All right, left foot, left hand goes in three, two, and one. Begin, squeeze and return. Now, I'm not putting a ton of weight on this hand. I'm actually barely landing it. But that energy disbursement between my hands makes the chest nice and broad. So really stick your chest out and return to the rack position right in front of the shoulder head. I'm not resting it. I'm just racking it. Now switch. Okay. Cool news is all these exercises we've already done, you'll get a chance to do them again. The only ones we won't see a final set are these burners that I've been talking about. So that isometric bridge that we'll do here at the end of this set, once and done, once and done, that's it. Meet me on the floor. Now, I really liked using my fives, so I think I'm gonna go back to my fives in this, in this instance, because I felt really supported in the upper back. And I also felt like my low back was super integrated. So work on your range of motion if you're using those lighter dumbbells. Chest fly, palms medial. Pull over, palms face your legs. Nice, can you curl the head, neck, and shoulders up more? I'm looking right between the kneecaps here. Now we're gonna go into that burner and I'm gonna grab my heavier weights because 20 pounds on the hips ain't no thing, okay? Well, I shouldn't say it that way, but for me, 20 pounds is good. So I'm gonna place those weights right on my hips. Lift my hips up, this is the burner. My heels are down, my toes are up because that's the way I like to bridge, silly. You're holding this static. In fact, as I say this, I'm like you literally have this as your static and you've got one exercise in our fourth block that's static. That's it and your arms will be moving, your legs will be static. But in this case, we are keeping completely still. You're squeezing your glutes. Your heels are up, your heels, or excuse me, your heels are down, your toes are up, really push into the floor. Feel the hamstrings working, let the head be heavy, look down the bridge of the nose, keep lifting those hips up but scooping the navel in. You've got 15 seconds left. Shoulders are broad, head is down, relax. If you're feeling anything in the neck, check in. Are you fully getting that neck nice and long? Really take care of that. This is three, this is two, Slowly come down, this is your minute rest, so no need to hop out of it super fast. Okay, so guess what? Whew. You got about 50 more seconds to rest. Now for me, I am super thirsty, so I'm gonna pick up a little water. We're gonna do our third block of work. I love this because we're back to standing and we're back to a little more loaded movement training style activities. So what I do first is I set or strike my set. Make sure you put your things where you can see them and you know you're not gonna trip on said things. So as you are recovering, we will need one dumbbell. I'm gonna use my 10 here and I'm gonna step all the way over to the side of my mat. Why? Because I'm only traveling over to one side. So this is the Cossack squat. I'm gonna bring that weight right in front of my heart. I'm gonna take it into a lateral lunge, turn the toes out push and return let's go lateral lunge turn those toes push and return so see how i want to return i step my feet back together 
Lateral lunge turn, push and return. Little post exhaustion of that chest group after the flies. You know what's really great about today? I mean, other than a little burpee action, we don't have any real push-ups going on. This is three, two, walk it on over to the second side. Here we go. Lateral lunge, turn those toes out, drop in. So what makes this a Cossack is we're getting off of the toes and externally rotating the hip. So we're truly dependent on this moving leg on this moving leg. And you might know, you might have seen my brain go, what are we doing? I don't get it. Right? Even me, I'm like, there's a lot going on here. Three, two, and one. Now for me, I'm just going to hold this single dumbbell. We're going into swings. <sighs> Mandy, what if I wanted to make it harder? I would grab my second dumbbell. I would have 20s. <sighs> <sighs> Think about yourself just flicking your hips first. Let the arms come along for the ride. My hands gripping the shaft of the dumbbell. You've got four, three, two, and one. Okay, that's your wrist, your wrist. That's your wrist. Now in the second set, we'll start on this side of the mat, we'll travel over towards that left side for me, which would probably be your right side. Then we'll do the other side, and then perhaps I pick up that second dumbbell and I do my 20s. Right? Try it for my 20 total. Okay, so let's pick up that dumbbell. In three and two and one, let's go out to the side, turn the toes out, serve. Now, I will be honest with you. <laughs> if I had a 60 pound kettlebell, I'm not serving that kettlebell forward, right? So if you're like, Mandy, this isn't really truly the Cossack. It isn't, it's a little bit of a, <laughs> a little bit of a, take on it from my angle, right? I'm just making it my own. Nice, it feels great though. Switch your sides. So I'm gonna walk my way over to the side of my mat. Same thing, other side. Lunge, twist, reach, and return. Every time I try to bring those toes back to the floor before I return. Otherwise it just feels a little funky on the knee. So careful here, right? If I need to modify, I would keep that foot flat like this. Don't even worry about the turnout. Just like in the warm up, I gave that as an alternative. Same thing with the weight. Three, two, and for me, like I said, I'm gonna grab that second dumbbell, bring them in front of my hips. They work together. I'm gonna show this to you from the side. My feet are really wide apart, my toes are turned out. All the work is originating from my hips. My weights are just kind of coming along for the ride. Good. Couple more seconds on the swing. Two, one, and you made it. Now, we will see this again. And our burner. So here's the burner, that one minute challenge. We'll set the dumbbells down. You're gonna do fast feet. And as often as you want, Plyo Jack, that's your minute. Now, if you're not jumping, strong march, wide reach from the squat, and we'll go over it. Grab your dumbbell, 30 seconds either side. Here we go. Lunge, reach. Lunge, turn it out, reach it forward. Every time I rise, you might see me take this little pause. I'm squeezing my seat together. Check out your shoulders, make sure you're not hiking them. Elbows should be close to the sides of the body. Yes, closer to the midline. Switch your sides as you wrap the rep up. And let's do our second side. Man, I'm starting to get a little winded. Right, loaded movement training. When we work smart, we still work hard, right? Work on that hip mobility, drive those hips back. I'm gonna show this to you from the side so you can see this. I'm sticking my hip out, sinking into it. Stick it out, push. Yes. Give me one more. Either single dumbbell or both. I felt really good with both, so I'm gonna go for it again. Toes slightly turned out. It's a hip hinge, but look at my knees. They're bending. Why would they bend? 
so that I'm not lacking those knees and I'm creating a little more power with the support of the entire inner thigh group. Yes. We go right into more cardio, that's the hard part. Three, two, and set the dumbbells off to the side. Meet me with those fast feet. So option one here, plyo jack, come back to your fast feet. And I would say general rule of thumb, maybe five seconds in fast feet. Maybe one big plyo jack, come back. My non-jumpers, march like a 90s mom, squat, Y reach. Come back to that high knee march, drop in, reach up, you're halfway there. So if you wanna mix and match those two things, you can. That's the beauty of working, on, working out on demand. You can pause it if you want, right? I forgot what we're doing for a second. Nice, Rachel, you guys look great. Good team. 10 second countdown. Minute rest here. Finish it out. Four, three, two. We are three blocks down. Okay, gotta catch my breath a little bit. So far, so good. Okay, 45 seconds left in your recovery. How is it already there? I don't know. Now, this requires a little balance. So we're gonna go lighter on the dumbbells. We have a single leg hinge with a bilateral reverse fly. This is one of my favorite exercises too. So I'm gonna stabilize on one foot. You're in rest, I hinge. I'm gonna pull those arms out like airplane wings, come back through center. Bring that knee up. Okay, so that's exercise one. Guess what exercise two is? Same thing, other side. So the arms are getting that reverse fly. Just so you can see this, my reverse fly is right along that chest line as I'm in the hinge in the single leg, okay? Not as easy as it sounds. In fact, if you're on a mat, it's harder. So maybe we just shift that mat forward a little bit. And we try this on the hardwood. Here we go, let's go. Hinge, whoop. give me a fly, whoop. neck is in neutral. So I'm showing this to you from the side after I failed that. Squeeze, bring that knee in. Quality over quantity, quality over quantity. So if you're like, I only got three in, you got three in. Instead of just take the only out. Whew. Switch your feet, single leg hinge, a lot of onus on that single leg. Spread your toes out, you're looking down the ridge of your nose. So on this effort, you're not looking up. And if you need to look at me, I would say turn to the side so you can turn your head and still get a glorious form and alignment, right? We're not cranking the neck to see the exercise and do it simultaneously. <sighs> okay, okay. Now, bring your feet nice and wide, turn the toes out. Legs stay stationary. Arms open, arms close, they tap in, they open. This is one of my favorite fun arm activities. I want us to move slow though. Serve the trays out to the sides, shoulders stay depressed and down, same words. Tuck that tailbone, you're done in four. Three, two, and that's time, okay. so. Two more sets, burner to come. It's the Malasana burpee. We'll go over it at the end of this set. So last time I balanced on my left first, I'm gonna balance on my right first this time, which is actually harder for me. So I would say start on the leg you ended on, if you can remember, if not, start on the leg that you're feeling less stable on. All right, three, two, here we go, second round. Hold that reverse fly up for an additional half second. Challenge that mid-back conditioning. Squeeze those shoulder blades towards that spinal column. Find that single leg balance. So I keep forgetting to bring that knee up and in, but we are supposed to be doing that, right? She also can be a hot mess. Actually, I am hot, so that makes, that makes sense. I am physically quite warm, <laughs> right? High intensity animal training, little movement training will do that to you. That's good. Sweat's good. 
I always feel so much better after a workout, whether it be a mental thing or a physical thing or some combination of those things. I'm having a really hard time balancing on my left leg this time too. So, you know, every day is different. This is three, two. Okay, so I'm gonna add into this. If you're feeling this, I want you to find that plie. Lift the heels up. Arms in, arms out, arms up, arms down. In, yes, you guys look so fabulous. Out, keep those heels up. Little Louboutins here. Woo! There we go. Embrace the shake. Three, two, I'm shaking. One, set the heels down. Set your weights down. So team, let's talk about that last challenge, the Malasana squat. So if you're doing the jumping with me, we're actually gonna start with our feet wide apart like we just ended, we would just set those weights down. Hands come to the floor, sweep the legs back, narrow press, sweep the legs in, hop to stand. If I'm not jumping, you're just gonna step the feet, okay? Choose a leg to start on. I'm gonna start with my right foot down because I struggled on that side. Timer begins, it's our last set. But you know, after that burner, you're gonna get a minute rest and we have our six minute metabolic finisher. Now listen, if you're like, I'm new to this and 30 minutes is plenty, maybe you finish at the end of this block, you get that malasana burpee in and you stretch. That's a great way to get introduced to this work, switch your legs please. And then the metabolic finisher could be a workout in and of itself, right? Six minutes and done. Say for example, you just gotta get to work. You're like, I only have 10 minutes. I can do Mandy's warm up. I can fast forward to the end where that last six minutes of work, 30 seconds, 12 exercises, and then you can stretch with me too. So there's ways to split the difference. Okay, here we go, heels up optional. Arms come in, arms come out, and serve. Watch those shoulders, careful they're not hiking up. Biceps are on here and here, and then stretch here. Keep tucking your tailbone. I haven't seen, I haven't shown this one to you from the side yet. What I'm trying to do is tuck that tailbone underneath me. Torso perpendicular to the ground. Knees opening up wide. Yes, three, two, one. Set the weights down, this is the Malasana burpee. So, feet wide apart, hands come to the floor, jump back, push, rise and hop. Option here, I step, step, maybe I even forget the push up where I set the knees down. Triceps press, walk it in. Maybe I don't jump, maybe I lift off those heels and reach those arms forward. So whatever works for you. I'll show you different varieties here. We're halfway done. So option number one, covered, right? Option two, say I have a hard time touching the floor. I can squat down, step, step, and rise. Squat down, step, step, and rise. So see my hands or my wrists are really feeling like they, they've had enough today or I have a wrist injury and being on my hands isn't working. Whatever works for you works for me. Good team, we've got three, two, one, done. Now, you know we're not done. Told you that already. But um, we get a minute rest. Cheers. I mentioned this a while ago, but I'll say it again. I would not recommend the band as we go into the finisher because you're gonna take it off. So you're gonna lose time. What I would do is have my dumbbells off to the side have my mat out so I know where things are. A lot of this stuff is single-sided, so we'll go as best as we can. Remember, the goal of this is not to race through the movement. It's to move with power and precision. Timing is on you, it's on your own, okay? All right, starting body weight, feet together, side squat, front kick, here we go, squat, kick. 30 seconds, 12 movements, six minutes. 
We can do it. We start body weight, we add the weights. We have some single-sided balance. Woo! Oh my gosh! Good team. We're switching sides here in three, two, one. Again, if you don't have a ton of space, turn yourself to the side or move your foot a little further over to the side so you have room to travel. We're on the mat next. So I'll show this to you profile, but you can face head on if you want. Down dog, two legs to beast. All right, that's next. You've got five, four, three, two. All right, meet me in down dog. One kick up, one kick up. Hover the knees, back up, kick, switch. Just looking for you guys. How we doing? Kick, switch. Again, I'm not focused on winning the race here. I'm mostly concerned with postural alignment, pressing down through those hands, arms straight and strong, shoulders away from the ears. Good team, this is three, two, and one. Good, okay. Next on the list, we got the half kneel. Grab your dumbbell, I just need one. Whew. Right, reach. Return. A little clunky start, that's okay. We're not perfect. <laughs> I mean, right? <sighs> Beautiful work so far. We got this. Coming on to the other side in three, two, one. Rack and switch. Here we go. Down to the ground. Rise up. Every time I rise up, I'm tucking that glute. Squeeze. Showing this to you from the side. Return, lean. Working our obliques. I feel a lot of this in my side body. I feel a lot of this in my arm too, so I don't know. <laughs> Good. You've got three, two, and one. Okay. I'm gonna opt for my lighter dumbbells. Legs out, head up. I've got my fly. I've got my pullover. I'm working on range of motion over load. So for me, I'd rather have lighter dumbbells and work at larger ranges than really try to use that heavy dumbbell. And this is different for everybody and it's different for different goals, okay? So if you're like, ah, oh, but I'd rather do this, do that. <laughs> this is three, two, and one. Okay, set those dumbbells down. You need one dumbbell. Hold it in your hands, Cossack lunge, reach, and return. Cossack lunge, reach, return. What I love about today's movements, there's not a lot to remember because a lot of it's single-sided. So it's nice because it's kind of a natural progression. Switch your sides. Here we go. Out to the side, turn those toes up. You got it. Yeah, I had to throw in a, a few of my like guilty pleasures today on that playlist. So if you don't like them, use your own playlist. But I always make playlists for these types of classes. And I really enjoy it, so I hope you do too. <laughs> this is three, two, and one. You need that second dumbbell, maybe. I'm gonna use mine. Feet wide, 30 second swings. Your body is staying in that hinge position. I'll show this to you again from the side. Spine long, eyes forward. Drive with the hips, drive with the hips. Abs in tight. We got it. We got it, seven seconds. Yes, three, two, and one. Okay, what's next? I already forgot. Oh yeah, I need my head lights. Hinge and fly. I personally felt like balancing on the hardwood was a lot easier, so I'm gonna do it. Whew. You're probably like, what is that? What are we doing again? Hinge fly, knee rise. Hinge fly. Showing this to you from the side on the other side. I've now switched my legs, flex that back foot, airplane wings, knee comes in. My visual is directly forward. Hinge fly. 
slow and controlled. Try to find that inner stability. Drive it in. There's a soft bend in that stable leg. My right. Good. We got six seconds. Let's finish this rep out. Three, two, one. Last exercise. Okay, heel pop. In, out, up, down, in, out, up. You're looking so good, you guys. Come on. 12 more seconds. Stretch City, population us, and Phil Collins. I had to. Guilty pleasure, I told you. Four, three, I celebrate his whole collection. Two, that is time. We done did it. Okay, we shall stretch. We have, have you, blah, 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 word salad. We're gonna stretch. This is about four minutes stretch. We'll say our goodbyes. If you need to leave, I totally get it. But I would, if you could, try to stick around. All right, sip of water and we'll make our way back to the mat. Mm. And let's move that playlist to that last track. Mm. All right, yay. Come on back. I'm just gonna scoot my mat back just a little more so you can see me. And now I'm gonna come on down to my back. Hug your knees in, let your head rest. Just take a moment to get that heart rate back down. Breathe in. Let it out. Stamp down through one foot, that's my left. I'm gonna take that right ankle, cross it over that thigh. Reach through the window you created, grab for that shin bone. So for some of us, my head might be off the ground, so maybe grabbing the shin bone is not, not good enough, right? So maybe I just grab the back end of the thigh. Nice little low back release. I love this stretch on the glute. Let's ankle circle around for a second. We got time. Good, we'll release that foot. Keep the ankle cross, and we're gonna drop the legs over towards the left. Now for me, I've got that right ankle cross. That left knee is down. The right foot is directly in front of that thigh. With the opposite arm, I'm gonna goal post it. I'm going to twist my head all the way over towards that side. So my left side is my right is out. Right side. Jeez. She's not the best at right and left. Don't choose her for your twister game. Come back through center. Slide that leg long. And let's hug the knee in. Just a single knee. Grab the outer edge of the foot. Find a little half happy baby. So with my opposite hand, I'm going to press down through the thigh. Then I'm gonna set that foot down, let's do the other side. So bring my feet underneath me, ankle crosses over. Next, just take a moment here, feel that abduction of the hips. I'm trying to draw that knee away from my heart. Then I'm gonna lift my foot and grab the shin or I'm gonna grab the back of the thigh. So just for today's purposes, I think it's easier for me to demonstrate with my leg being free. And I'm just gonna ankle circle on this side too, even though we did it on the other side. It's just good. Ankle mobility is really important. Good injury prevention. Now from here, I'm gonna release that ankle, set the foot down, rotate my hips all the way over to my right, for real this time, and I'm opening up the hip on the left. So I feel this stretch of the IT band. And some of us are probably like, I don't feel much of a stretch, right? So if that's the case for you, what I would suggest is trying to straighten this leg out over the hip. For me, this is plenty. I can feel a lot of screaming right here. So this is about it for me. Nice, I come back through the center. Nice, and then from here, I'm gonna slide the opposite leg long, grab the outer edge of the foot. Oops, I lied, other side, right? Because I just had that leg bent. So I'm gonna grab the outer edge of the foot, half happy baby. Right and left, I got confused again. Breathe in, let it out. Nice, from there, go ahead and extend the legs long, take the arms over the chest. Go ahead and cross one arm underneath the other arm and eagle wrap. So some of us may be not eagle wrap today, right? Maybe I just fold my shoulders, that's great. Same thing, little less intense on the shoulder. So I'm gonna slide my fingers towards my plant and then elbows towards my navel. Fingers to my plant, elbows to navel. Unwind, rewind, elbows to plant, and if it's the opposite version, I lift and lower my elbows with my hands on my shoulders. 
Yeah. Okay, now from here, arms reach over my chest. Tuck my seat, flex my feet. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, tuck your chin and roll your way up nice and slow over the thighs. Fold over the legs, let the head relax. Tuck your chin down. Breathe in. And let it out. Good. Sit any way you feel comfortable. So for me, I'm going to sit cross-legged here, nice and tall. Good. Take the hands to the knees. Lift the chest. So this is flexion, or excuse me, extension of the spine, and then I'm going to flex. I'm going to round in. Tuck your chin. Lift up. We're almost done, I promise. Exhale to round. Good. And then from here, I'm going to take my arms, wrap them around my back, clasp my hands, and tuck my chin. Extend my elbows back. So just so you can see me a little bit of an angle, I'm extending my fists back. My arms are straight. This is a stretch for the bicep. And then I'm feeling that stretch through my cervical spine as well. Roll the neck over to one side and over to the other side. Good. Return through the center. Release the grip of the hands. Let's come on up and we'll call it a Monday to remember. Thank you so much for coming to the 45 minute edition of Never Miss a Monday. So we just took a workout Wednesday and plopped it into a Monday. Why not? You know, it's been a minute since we've done those. So you'll see that on Patreon, hopefully by the end of today. And I know, Rachel, you're like, so I'll be asleep. <laughs> um, yeah, you'll have it by Tuesday morning for sure. Um, all right, stick around if you guys have questions. Otherwise,